Hello everybody, welcome back to my Fallout New Vegas. Let's play, we're here to start up DLC 3, which is Old World Blues. Oh, I don't want to do that, I want to go on my map. We have to go all the way down here, but fast travel to Nipton. Then we'll be good to go. Anything going on? There's a couple... These guys over here, I never killed and probably never will. So hopefully there's no issues. Hmm. Oh, there's a scorpion right there. All right. Also went through and did some item management. Sold some junk, put some junk away. I'm thinking we uh, deal with. A little scorpion with a super sledge. Hmm. Never get tired of doing that. A couple more red little dots over here. Oh, this guy was sleeping in the tent. Or the RV, I meant. Hey, this is your brother's home? Yep. Lovely, uh,. What was that? 27 XP? Alright, so, um, Honest Hearts was only like seven videos, I think. Seven videos, 20 minutes long each, except for the last one, was a little bit longer. I don't know why Dead Money took so long. I think Dead Money took 13 episodes to do. This doesn't really make much sense. I thought it was a lot shorter, but I don't know if it was me just dicking around too much or something else. Alright, so we got to investigate this crashed probe satellite. And yes, I know, I did hear that shooting. I just decided to ignore it. I'll wait till midnight, huh? Wait three hours, sure. That's a little creepy. Old World Blues is recommended for experienced couriers. Level 15 plus. Unable to return to Mojave until you solve the mysteries of the big empty. Up to the challenge. You have all that you want to carry with you. Examine the satellite. Let's go. There's a bunch of stuffs in here. They've got uh, a lot of energy weapons. A lot of other cool stuff happens too in this DLC. I think this is my favorite one out of the four. I'll shut up when they. In the years before the Great War, Big Mountain had been the home to the brightest minds of the 21st century. Scientists of vision were drawn to the facility to tackle the greatest technological challenges of the era. They sought to create a new world, fueled by technology for the benefit of all mankind. Sonic emitters, space-age alloys, DNA hybridization, force field particle research, Autodoc advances in cranial, cardiac, and trauma surgery. The hopes and dreams of a century became realities in the electronic forges of Big Mountain. The nucleus of this research was the Dome, a huge stone facility that held the labs of every science known to man. It was a think tank where no problem could not be solved, where no question could not be answered. The Great War brought a new energy to Big Mountain and its scientists. Although sheltered from the front lines, the scientists waged their own war, fighting their battles at the atomic level. Equations and calculations marched endlessly across chalkboards and computer terminals toward one solution. 
winning the war. For years, the mines and computers of Big Mountain were a blaze of trajectories, weapon schematics, and nuclear theories. The problems began to outpace the solutions, first geometrically, then exponentially. As the war escalated, so did the questions. On the night of October 23rd, 2077, the scientists received an answer that put all their questions to rest. In the aftermath, Big Mountain's silent experiments went to sleep, their creators slowly dying in the new world that had been left behind. And the great stone in the middle of the Big Empty lay untouched, filled with countless technological wonders. Wonders that, in the end, had been answers to the wrong question. Find out where the hell I am. All right. So we have a look see. We still have all our items. Weapons are good. So we got kidnapped, and apparently we got operated on. So let's go in here, let's go into the sink. And find out what was going on here with our body. Sink Central Intelligence Unit. Of course we gotta loot this place first. Personality files damaged or missing? I got in here. Bottle cap. You know, one is better than none. Take this drained ammo. This little mini dude. This is your like main base of operations, by the way, in case you didn't realize. I have to get everything. This dude right here, this thing, this toaster. Is gonna be uh, playing a big role. Not really, but I'd like to imagine that he's a big role. All right, let's just do this. That's not what I need to do. I need to go down here. You go to the think tank. I cannot draw my weapon for some reason. We got a group of weird things. I thought I heard the pacification field kick in. All right, shh. nobody move. I'll handle this. Be warned, intruder! You are in the presence of a mighty think tank of Big Mountain! The collective geniuses of... We! By Oppenheimer, which one of you self-professed geniuses has been adjusting my volume knob? Who was it? Was it you, H? Oh, Dr. O, was it? Likely story. Oh, couldn't spark two neurons if they were in a lattice of biomed gel. What? Me? Breaking news, Klein. It wasn't me, all right? I'm the robotical engineer. A to sound waves. That's his specialty. You always do this. You always demean me in front of guests. And it's not O, all right? It's... Enough! Either of you do it again, it'll be the last time. Now... Now... Great. Now oh, I forgot what I was saying. What was I talking about? Did... 
Did it just say something? Anyone catch that? Boros, you work with animals. Translate. It's a lobotomite. Here, in the dome. Oh, as if this situation couldn't get any worse. Now we've got lobotomites. Dala, get the spray before it excretes all over everything. Dr. Klein, if my hypothesis is correct, this lobotomite is the repository of the brain we sent the signal to, the skin envelope once containing it. If so, it's proof that there may indeed be something beyond the crater. Just look at it. The way it blinks. It's like a big, hairless teddy bear. I know what it is, Dala. I want to know why it's down here. With its... its limbs all over everything. And... are those... penises I see wriggling on its feet? Disgusting. I believe those are toes, Dr. Klein. Little teddy bear toes. Penises are much larger than those tiny extremities. Yeah, not that I would know. I don't recall the human penis ever being that large. It depends on one's own frame of reference, Dr. O. Look at its little nose with its two orifices for ingesting oxygen. Noses? By the great static, these lobotomites confound me with their sheer number of useless extremities. Now it's holding up an array of fully erect hand penises. If it tries to insert them, activate vivisectors. Dr. Klein. Wait. I... I don't believe those gestures were random. Random at all. It's been following our conversation. The lobotomite understands us. I agree with Boros's histrionic findings. This little lobotomite is unusually attentive for something whose brain has been extracted. Nonsense! Lobotomites can't comprehend us! Ace, have you been in the men's hats again? If we slow down our oral processor receptors to understand this excretion, we'll all be rendered ignorant. All of you, power down, shut up, and let me prove once and for all how wrong you all are. As usual, Lobotomite, do you understand me? Can you speak? Those were words, weren't they? In the form of questions. It's asking me questions. Is this some kind of trick? Our efforts have turned against us. In playing God, we created a monster. Perhaps as we were ruthlessly lobotomizing it with our cutters, we filled this skin envelope with... awareness. A teddy bear with new stuffing. Wait... If what you're theorizing is this lobotomite understands us, can reason with us... Then this may be just the answer we've been looking for. At last, a chance to... Dr. Klein! A transmission from the Forbidden Zone, coming right at us! It can only be... If it isn't my own colleagues, the mighty think tank of Big Mountain, Big Fools, all of you. It is I, Dr. Mobius, transmitting from my dome-shaped dome in the Forbidden Zone, a zone that is, yes, forbidden to you. Even now, my deadly robo-scorpions swarm across Big Mountain with their pincers and pointy laser tails. Soon, all science will be mine! Even the technology sealed in the Big Mountain research centers cannot save you. So cower in your think tank. Wait for the end. That's all. Uh, goodbye. Mobius. Always the same broadcast.
best. He's clearly mad, driven insane by his flawed and imprecise kindergarten-level research methodology. What are we going to do? There's no way we can breach the Forbidden Zone. There's those robot scorpions everywhere. The Forbidden Zone, where no brain has ever entered, nor ever returned. Except Dr. Mobius and the technologies that could save us. They are out of our reach. And Dr. Mobius mocks us. Did you see his cracked monitor? He's clearly let himself go. What? Ask the lobotomy for help? A, I think you need the fluid levels in your logic assist pumps checked. If this lobotomite responded, Dr. Klein, then it is clearly intelligent, perhaps even displays heretofore unknown levels of helpfulness. But what of its brain? We scooped that out. We don't even know where we left it. And for putting it back in, none of us have the knowledge. Yes, but it's still aware and responsive. Look at it. It's regarding us even now, with its big teddy bear eyes. If we ask it politely, and leave the part about the unnecessary, ruthless lobotomizing out, it might be favorably disposed to us. We removed your brain. Yes. So soft, barely wrinkled, yet so flush with knowledge and experience. Brain extraction technology has been standard practice at Big Mountain for an immeasurable amount of time. Once the brain was out, then came the coils. The Tesla coils. The coils of Nikola Tesla. Yeah, Abe, no need to brag. Wherever your brain is, it's transmitting thoughts to you through the... what? The, um... Uh... The Tesla coils! In its head! This is fortunate in many respects. If your brain was anywhere in the dome, why, you could access your aggression centers. Circumventing the pacification field, this is a no-no. We have never been in a fight. We do not want that. Reminds me of my days in American High. And Richie Marcus. Darla, was it necessary this time? I assume full responsibility. I take my duties in the prodding and excision of living, breathing tissue quite seriously. Although, in truth, the Autodoc had done most of the work already. Quite industrious, almost cut into all my investigations. Once it had removed the brain and I misplaced it, other organs began to cry for direction, using your nerves as telegraph wires. Rather than let them send their signals, I removed them as well. Shh, little organs. Go to sleep in your tanks. Dala loves you. First, was the heart. Oh wait, I mean, second was the heart. Brain was first. Third was the spine. Spine. Totally overrated, that arrangement of vertebrae. Look at me, with my lumbar and thoracic curvature. Never had a use for any of that. Spineless is what I prefer. To be correct, you should say, the autodoc took out your brain. It did all the heavy lifting. It has never worked so 